So now as we have set up everything in perspective, as you can see right over here, and now camera has been added as well. And just for a quick revision, if you want to animate the camera, you need to create the camera first from the uh, plus icon right here, create camera, and you have to add it inside a peg. So to access the peg again, you need to set your display to display all, which can be accessed from windows right over here, from toolbar, you display and you get this option right here, select display all for this option to work. So everything has been arranged up in the perspective view and I added in some frames right over here. And now let's go to the camera view right over here. And here you can see that the car moves from left to right. So now what I want to do is I wanna add in a camera animation. So I'm going to select the peg, not the camera, the peg. So this is where I want to add in the animation to. So once I select the peg, now what I can do is I can actually go over here and then I can actually move around the camera right over here just like that. As you can see, I can move the camera up and down because the peg is being selected right over here. You can also go to the perspective view and then move it left to right, the camera, as you can see. But if you want to see both at the same time, what you can actually do is you can actually drag the perspective out of, out of here. You can see the top view over here and then you can actually snap it over here onto the right side just like this so you can see both of the views all at once so i'm going to go to the camera view right over here as you can see so i can go over here and then work around with the peg on this view i can move it left to right and you can see that the peg actually moves moves around just like that so what i can do is i'm going to go over here onto the front so i'm going to make sure i know the location so i'm just going to go around here and then move the, the camera a bit around in the front. So I'm going to go to the perspective view, move around into the front. So this is going to be the starting position. And as the car goes this side, as you can see, I'm just going to move the camera. I can actually uh, move it right from over here and the animation will be added in just like that, as you can see. And I can uh, just pull this out as well. So I'm just going to pull this out far ahead, right over here, but towards this side and the camera animation is there as you can see. And there's all of it, there's like uh, the effect, just like that, and there's the zoom out, all the perspective, all is maintained. So if you have to fake this out, this is actually a very, very uh, tedious process, but you can see that now uh, Toon Boom Harmony does this uh, effect just for you, just like that. So you can see the perspective view right here and everything else. You can even rotate the camera out. So let's say I want to rotate the camera out a bit right over here. And then as I rotate it out, I want to rotate it upside just like that, for example, uh, to get, get a sort of an effect. So let's just go over here, rotate out, and the keyframes are all automatically added. And this is the result as you can see. So there you go, there's the uh, output right over there. So now I'm just going to collapse this out right over here. Let's see uh, how the animation looks like. So you can see that there's the perspective. Everything is moving along. So let me just uh, rotate this out. So you can see that there's the uh, animation of the camera. There's the perspective and they seem like they are in a 3D space just like that. But whenever you're animating, you do have to be careful about this area right here. You don't want to show up extra uh, blank areas right here, making making it feel as if it is empty. So that is how you can um, manage the camera animation and then utilize perspective to create a sense of depth in your animation. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.